Aren't these beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful sight of jars. <laughs> if, you, if you know me well, I have a little bit of a jar obsession. I've, I've gone to meetings to try and fix this, but I've decided it's something that I'm just gonna embrace about myself. I'm a jar addict. Are you a jar addict? <laughs> My brother has been staying with us overnight. He's had a job locally, and um, so he's just been staying with us at night. And he comes in, he opens the cupboard, he goes, oh, cool, I love drinking out of mason jars. And Emma, I says, Emma, does it sound like that's my brother? <laughs> so it's a family thing. We love jars. So um, a friend of mine um, had a relative pass away a couple years ago. And um, over, I, maybe it's just been a year ago, I don't know. But um, they've been cleaning out the house slowly. And we went um, a couple weeks ago and got some really fun treasures. Among it is this awesome food storage. Are we gonna eat it? Get a fork, Emma. I'm <laughs> good thing. <laughs> so, what's the plan with these jars? Do you know? Yes. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so these jars, we are going to obviously clean them out. Um, I was on an awesome live show with Sutton's Days, um, Lisa from Sutton's Days, I just love her, she's fantastic, runs an amazing live show, so check out her channel, Sutton's Days, I'll put a link to her channel in the description. We were also chatting in that same live stream with Tina, Tina from Wilhelm's Kitchen, and we were kind of talking about these jars, I was kind of joking that we were going to eat it, get a little tipsy on um, some of these, cherries. what looks like cherries. Great. Right there. <laughs> and she's, Lisa's like, don't eat them. I'm like, that was not in the plan. Um, but Tina did mention that if the seals are not sealed, that you should throw them completely away, the whole jar. Don't even open it because it can contain botulism and the spores can be breathed in. Breathe? Is that the right word? Yep. Breathe? Yep. And so... Um, we're gonna throw this jar away, which makes me a little sad, but um, we don't wanna die either, do we, Emma? I'd rather not. <laughs> inhale. <laughs> we don't want to inhale the botulism spores because Emma would rather not die. So we're gonna leave it at that. Um, we did, we are getting some amazing rain and we are really, really excited about it. Emma and I had to run out and save our flag because we don't want Old Glory hanging out in the rain and our Goose Maynard is sure having a fun time with the rain coming from the sky. So we did make a composting bin out of pallets and um, should I show you? Should I show them? So we did get some a composting bin made. These jars have been sitting on my counter for a good couple of weeks, uh, mainly because we got sick and weren't able to take care of them properly. And I don't want to just throw the food out. We're not going to eat it, obviously. But I would like to um, utilize it um, in a composting bin. So I've been wanting one for a while. It is raining. I'm going to sneak out here and see if I can if it's not gonna rain too much, I'll get a shot of the composting bin. But we did make it out of pallets, so we used repurposed wood, didn't cost me anything. Um, I used some twine, baling twine, that is ever so available here in the country. And um, so I'm really excited about that, that we're going to go ahead and dump out all these jars. We're going to utilize the organic material in the jars for the compost. I have it completely surrounded by pallets so my dog doesn't eat what's in there. He's got a sensitive stomach and I'd rather not clean it up off the floor after he eats it. He's kind of special like that. So I'm going to head back in the house out of this rain, although I could stand out here in it all day. It's a beautiful rainstorm. Love summer rain. We're going to get these jars cleaned out and get them washed up so we can put them in our jar stash. Okay, so we're gonna check the lids and see which ones are good to go. Some of these 
These jars are so cool. I have a problem. Oh, oh. Not safe. Not safe. Okay, if you've checked them, bring them over so we know. I know there was three that were. I, I tested them. This one. Okay. That's all that there is. Okay. You sure? Pot, almost positive. Okay, let's get them dumped out. Zucchini relish. Hmm. Is that one not good? I'm not trusting any of this food. Well, I know, but like... Oh, it's it... good. It's good. I just have no idea how old it is. Well, I, I know I wasn't saying that we were going to eat it. I'm just saying you're not trusting it between... Is that Blackberry Gems from 2014? <laughs> <laughs> that was three years ago. Mmm. <laughs> peaches. Hundreds of peaches. Peaches for me. Hundreds of peaches. Peaches for free. Cherries. <laughs> Ooh, those are pretty. It really is a shame. So much time and energy goes into bottling, and it really is a shame that it's. I wonder how bottled peaches would taste. Bottled peaches. Oh, I used to bottle mine all the time. Pe not peaches. Cherries? Cherries. Oh, they're so good. My mom did it when we were growing up. So I, I, I remember bottled too. peaches. Peaches were awesome. I love this blue jar. That is super cool. Now, I have heard there is a little bit of a concern with older jars can shatter. Um, blue too. More blue. Oh, is there more blue? <gasps> I have two blue. That one's not blue. Yes, it is. A tiny bit. It's blue. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to take that risk. Um, in my opinion, mason jars are like the best food storage in the world because you can preserve things that you've grown, um, gosh, you can drink out of them. We love our mason jars. So I pried open the first one. It was really, really hard to get open. Um, the seal is still on the top. I was really, really prepared for a nasty smell. It smells so good. Like truly, truly good. I'm still not going to eat it, but it really is a shame to see it go to waste. I might need a spoon. Gross. I'm thinking it's like applesauce or something. It smells so good. Very apple, very cinnamony. Ew. Oh, brother. It looks gross. It smells so good. This is going to be more work than I had anticipated. Only for the ones that are like jelly. Yeah. This is not for you, my friend. Not for you. <laughs> this smells so good. <laughs> I did open some peaches. They didn't smell good, but they didn't really smell bad. But I'm pretty sure this is great. And I'm pretty sure that would make somebody pretty happy if they did drink it. <laughs> mm. But we're going to dump it out. Maybe if the chickens get into the compost, we'll have some happy chickens. <laughs> I have to say, being thrifty doesn't always mean you're cheap, <laughs> maybe it does. But I mean, this is a lot of work. Your time is worth something. And um, you know, this isn't free time. It is free jars, but um, the time put into it is not always free, but it's worth it. So our storm came and went faster than I would have liked, but it's always nice to get some moisture. Um, we're out here, we're going to, we had the kids clean out the calf pen the other day, and um, we're gonna use the droppings and old straw as a foundation in the composting bin. There's a lot I need to learn about composting. This is my first attempt at it. Um, I know you're supposed to keep it wet, um, rotate it. Um, I know the chickens will get in there and kind of turn it for me too. So 
Any tips or tri tricks, please leave them in the comments below. I would appreciate that. But I wanted to make sure and get the straw in first. So when we poured in all of the liquid um, organic matter from the bottling jars, that it wouldn't just kind of spill out and make a big mess. So hopefully it will go the way I'm wanting it to. Thank you for coming along with us today on this crazy adventure we like to call homesteading. Thank you for the comments, the likes, the shares, and the subscribes, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.